Now let's look at finding the lower and upper quotas. An HMO has 10 doctors to be apportioned among three clinics. The HMO decides to apportion the doctors based on the average weekly patient load for each clinic, given in the following table. We have our clinics A, B, and C, and their populations listed. In a previous problem, we found our standard quota. So let's write down the standard quota in our chart. We're going to make a row for it. And we'll list 2.38 under A, 3.30 under B, and 4.32 under C. In our next row, we're going to list our lower quota. To get that value, we're going to take each of our values from the standard, the row above, and we're going to truncate. That is, we're going to drop off the decimal part. So we're going to have 2, 3, 4. Now let's look at finding the upper quota. This time, you can think of it as rounding up, where we end up with any decimal part going up to the next value above. That is, instead of 2.38, we're going to write that up to 3. 3.30 will be 4, and 4.32 will write down 5. Now, let's just look at our totals. Along the row for the lower quotas, we have 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is 9. Along the row for the upper quotas, we have 3 plus 4 plus 5, which is going to give us 12. However, notice that we're supposed to be apportioning 10 doctors.